Tuning the startup processes. Tuning up the startup processes can greatly improve the startup speed of your computer as well as increase the speed of the computer during everyday use. During the startup process, Windows starts lots of programs that you actually won't use. This slows down the startup of your computer and decreases overall computer performance. There is no specific list of programs to disable at startup as every computer is different. However, there are some programs you can always safely disable. Acrobat Reader, iTunes, Windows Media Player, Real Player, Yahoo and MSN Messenger, Skype. There are many more. I will now show you how to find the ones you should disable. Downloading and Installing Starter. There are many utilities and ways to deal with startup processes. However, after extensive research, I finally managed to find a program which makes this task comfortable and safe, even for beginner computer users. Go to http forward slash codestuff.mirrorz.com. Click on the first link, Mirror1. At the moment, this says http forward slash members.lycos.co.uk forward slash codestuff. This could change in the future, so if the first link doesn't work, try the next ones. At the top of the page, click on the link Starter. On the next page, scroll down until you see the section called Download Backslash Starter Setup dot zip. Click on the link in this section called Download Location Number Zero. The download window should pop up. If you are redirected to the error page, instead click on another download location link. Click on Save. Click on the drop-down menu and select Desktop with your mouse. Then click the Save button. A new window will pop up after the download is finished. Click Open. Double-click on the Starter Setup.exe. If you get a security warning window, click Run. Click Next. Check the box, I accept the terms in the license agreement. Click Next. On the following screen, click Next. Click Next. On the next screen, click Next. Click Install. Click Next. Uncheck the box in front of Show README and click Finish. Running Starter. Starter program will now run itself. You will see a list of programs that run automatically when Windows starts up. It is vital to reduce the amount of programs in this list to the minimum in order to boost Windows up speed and overall computer performance. A good thing about starter software is that it hides almost all Microsoft Windows processes by default and shows only third-party programs in the startup list. This dramatically reduces the possibility that you could accidentally disable vital startup processes. Now, Go through the list of your startup programs and decide whether you can disable them or not. Make sure you only disable programs you recognize or can identify from the startup items database. If in doubt, do not disable the process before looking it up from the startup items database. Note that every computer has unique programs installed, so your list will be different from mine. However, the methodology of deciding whether the programs could be disabled or not remains the same. Let's start from the top of the list and go through it until we reach the bottom. The first program on the list is Launchy.exe. Since I know what this program does, and that it's important for me that Windows loads it up at startup, I'll leave it checked. This means that it will continue to run on the Windows startup. The next program is called Sun Java Update Sked. Take a look at the name, value, description, and company field. The name hints to me that this is a program that checks if there are any updates for the Sun Java platform. To be sure, we will double check it from the Startup Processes database. This is the second great feature of Starter. We can look up any program from inside of the program quickly and comfortably. Now right click on the program name, then choose Search Internet from the menu that opens, and then select Pac-Man's Portal Startups. A new browser window will open with information about the startup program you've just searched for. At the top of the window, there's a list of abbreviations used to describe the startup programs. Y means normally leave to run at startup. N means not required or not recommended, typically infrequently used tasks that can be started manually if necessary. U means user's choice, depends whether a user deems it necessary. X means definitely not required. Typically, viruses, spyware, adware, and resource hogs. 
The question mark means unknown. Look for our program name from the name or startup item column. Now take a closer look at the row where Sun Java Update Sked resides. The description reads, checks with Sun's Java Update site to see if newer Java versions are available. Visit http forward slash java.sun.com or run the Java plugin control panel. This confirms our initial assumption that it's a program that checks if newer Java versions are available. Now check the status column. It says N, which stands for not required or not recommended, typically infrequently used tasks that can be started manually if necessary. This means that we can safely disable this program from the Windows startup list. To disable Sun Java Update Sked, go back to the Starter Program window. Uncheck the box in front of that. A confirmation window will pop up. Click Yes. We have successfully dealt with this startup list item. Let's move on to the next one on the list. It's called RoboForm. I know what this program does, and I want it to run on the startup. So let's move on to the next item. The next one's called SoundMan. Program description reveals that we're dealing with Realtek Sound Manager. To be sure, we double-check from the Pac-Man's portal startups, the same way we did with the previous program. After locating SoundMan from the table that opens on the new window, we can read that SoundMan.exe is a system tray icon for the Realtek AC97 Audio Sound Manager for AC97 Onboard Audio, available via Startup, Settings, Control Panel. The status column says N which means we can safely disable this program from the startup list. I know that I haven't used this utility before, and therefore I probably won't need it in the future either. Go back to the starter window and uncheck the box in front of SoundMan. When the confirmation box comes up, click Yes. The next item is ctfmon.exe. The description shows us that it's made by Microsoft Corporation and belongs to the Microsoft Windows operating system. We should be careful with disabling Windows system files because this might actually be something vital to the operation system. Starter program will hide almost all Windows system programs in the default view, but if you still find any, it's better to leave them alone. This means that we will leave it as it is and go to the next item. The next item on the list is called Internet Calls. I know that I use this program occasionally, but not every day so I will disable it from the startup list by unchecking the box in front of it and clicking yes. The next two programs contain phrases AVG. I know for sure that it's the name of the antivirus program I use, therefore I leave them on the list. You want your antivirus programs to load on the startup and run until you shut down Windows to prevent possible infection with computer viruses. The next program is called Qt FTP Pro TE. I recognize that this is the FTP program I use, but I don't use it every single time I start my computer, so I disable it from the startup list. I go through the full list in this manner now. At the end of the process, my startup list looks like this. I was able to disable 10 of the 20 startup programs. This means that from now on, your computer starts up much quicker. Now go through the list of startup programs on your computer and decide whether you should disable some of them or not. Just remember to only disable programs you recognize or can identify. If in doubt, do not disable the process before looking it up from the Startup Items database. Do it, and you will be amazed at how much quicker your computer can become almost instantly.